Hey, thanks for tuning in to this channel. Ginger here. I'll be talking about pens today, specifically the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner pens, and pit that against another brand called Stabilo. I've been a longtime fan of Stedler Tri Plus pens, and I use it in many mixed media projects and graphic illustrations. But I'm looking for something that can more or less compete with it in terms of features and quality. And I picked Stabilo because this is a well-established brand uh, that has been a household name for more than a century. Uh, the company has been running its business since 1855. Imagine that. Uh, I love this company because of their commitment to environmental sustainability. In fact, Stabilo pens are made from uh, 150,000 kilos of recycled plastic they process every year. Uh, isn't that amazing, right? So in this video, I'll compare features between Stedler and Stabilo. I'll run a swatch test and uh, check their performance on thin Bible paper. Uh, I'll check their water solubility. Okay, so now let me run the basic stats first. Uh, the Stabilo Point 88 fine liner set I have in this review has 50 pens, while the Tri Plus has 60 colors. Stabilo has smaller packs available. The smallest set has six basic colors, followed by an assortment of eight shades in a plastic wallet. Stabilo also has a 10-piece set, uh, a 25-piece set, a 30, and a pack of 40 colors all in a wallet, and they're pretty flexible. Um, the barrel is hexagonal, which is nice because the pen won't go rolling around on the table while you're working. The iconic Swan logo is embossed on the pen cap. Well, that's very classic. Uh, the tip draws a 0.4 millimeter line. I love that the tip is also protected with metal just like what you see in, uh, in uh, Sakura Pigma Micron pens. Uh, I love that Stabilo put careful thought on their packaging. This metal tin is portable and sturdy and the inner plastic organizers, however, are a bit flimsy. The grooves allow pens to sit nicely in their individual slots, but the side handles have no grip. And so it's difficult to lift the top pan to get to the second layer of colors at the bottom of the box. Now for Stedler, uh, the barrel is triangular. The cap is a bit of a struggle to open when new. Actually, both pens are difficult to open. <laughs> I have, I was having a tug of war with a cap. Anyway, Stedler Tri Plus pens have 0.3 millimeter tips, uh, which are also encased in metal, so that's great. Stedler also has many Tri Plus fine liner sets. Their 50 color set comes in a metal tin, while this larger 60B set which I'm uh, reviewing, is only packaged in a very flimsy carton. Uh, Stedler pens also come in 42 colors and in 36 colors, both of which are poorly packaged in ugly cartons that are not fit for long-term storage. In fact, the cartons are so flimsy that my set arrived smashed and mangled open like this when I got it in the mail. I was forced to transfer my supplies in a caddy. Anyway, uh, Stedler also comes in a set of 20, 12, and 10 colors. And it's funny because these smaller sets are, are presented in hard plastic containers, which are way better. And I find the company's packaging choices very odd and inconsistent. But I do love the variety in sizes because then the sets are adaptable to your budget. You're not compelled to buy the bigger, the biggest sets if you want to just try out the product. Now I'm going to make a sample swatch for both of these fine liner pens because as you notice, the barrels don't have color names. Stabilo has a numeric code, um, color code on the pen itself while Stedler has the number codes on the box, but honestly, these numbers don't mean anything to me. The only identifiers of ink color are on the caps and at the bottom tip of the pens. 
But how close are the cap colors to the actual inks? That's what I want to find out. So I'll start with the Stedler Triplus. I'm sketching two columns. Uh, for the first watch, I'm overlapping the inks. But for the second, I'm not overlapping. Uh, and I'm doing it that way because I want to test if the pen caps match the darker tones of the ink or if they match the lighter tones or if there's really no difference between well, overlapping and not overlapping. And uh, while I'm doing this, I want to say too that uh, Stabilo boasts of long cap off times, which means that if you accidentally forgot to cover your pen for whatever reason, you don't need to worry about it drying up too quickly. I'm not too sure if there's truth to that claim though, because as I'm making this watch here, I already feel that some of the pens are quite scratchy as if the ink is drying out. It says in this package that the pens are made in Germany, but if you go to the Stablo website, they have a sustainability disclosure there that says only 70% of their products are made in Germany. So if that fact or sort of confused you, uh, let me clarify. This Stablo Point 88 and most of their ink-based pens are manufactured directly in Germany but Stabilo's wooden pencils are made in Czech Republic and some other products are produced in Malaysia. Uh, while making this watch, I noticed that some of the Stabilo colors also look so identical and upon closer inspection of the numeric color codes on the barrels, I found out that I actually received doubles of three colors. Like see here, uh, I got two of the blues two of the reds and two blacks now now what's up with that right so i contacted stabilo to ask if this was normal or if there was in fact a quality control breach here and i found out that the duplicates were intentional you're really supposed to get twos of these basic colors and that was fine by me, but somehow I felt cheated because the number 50 on the metal tin cover can easily be misconstrued as me getting 50 different colors. But apparently that wasn't the case. You'll only get 47 and not 50 colors. So take special note of that before you buy this Stabilo set. Whether hexagonal or triangular in barrel shape, I feel that both pens have a comfortable grip. I just find that the Stabilo is a bit thin and lighter to the touch. There's not much heft to it, so I feel like I might drop the pen any moment. Okay, I want to do a Bible paper test. Compared to Stedler, Stabilo leaves a slight ghosting, especially if you write with a heavy hand. There's ghosting from lighter colors and more pronounced bleeding from the darker shades. Now take a look. The left side is Stedler, the right is Stabilo. You can see from the flip side of the paper that Stedler is cleaner so if you're using these pens for note taking, just make sure to use it on heavier gauge paper. Both Stedler and Stabilo are good enough to use on plain copy paper, which is what I use for the swatches. But what if we use it on thin paper like Bible paper? Can the pens hold up to that kind of challenge? Now for my Bible journaling, I often use Pigma Micron pens, especially the thinner 0.15 or 0.2 millimeters. Whenever I plan to use thicker markers, I made sure I prepped the Bible pages with gesso before I, before I painted. But what if I don't want to go through all that laborious prep work and just jump right away to painting or note-taking in my Bible? Can I do that using Stedler or Stabilo? That's what I want to test here because I know some of the subscribers in this channel are also into Bible journaling. So let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, Stabilo failed miserably. Uh, the bleed through is quite pronounced and to think I wasn't even pressing down hard on the Bible. How about Stedler? Is it any better? 
by the way, while you're waiting for the results of this bleed test, let me add something. I mentioned a while back that Stedler writes thinner 0.3 millimeter lines, while Stabilo is a bit thicker at 0.4 millimeters. You might ask on that basis, which is better? Actually, the choice between 0.4 or 0.3 is a matter of personal preference. Which one are you more comfortable using? It's really up to you. If you're using it for adult coloring books where spaces are tiny, then you may opt for the 0.3 millimeters of Stedler. But honestly, if you ask me, I don't really see much of a difference in the lines they create. They look almost identical. And like I said, if I really like a fine, fine, fine liner, my go-to pen is always the Sakura Pigma Micron. Now let's check this out. Hmm, major fail. Major fail too. The ghosting and bleed through are just as bad. So in other words, these fine liners, both Stedler and Stabilo, are not the ideal pens to use for Bible journaling. They're not safe for thin paper unless you first coat your Bible with gesso or maybe matte medium. All right, sometimes when I'm doing illustrations, I like to ink the edges of my paintings but I don't like to make the lines too pronounced and obvious, so I lightly run um, a wet brush to partly dissolve the lines and blend them with the watercolor. Stedler is water soluble and is perfect for this kind of application. Now I'm doing this water solubility test to see if I can actually blend these pen lines into my watercolor illustrations. I want to know how much of the lines will still be left after I apply water or will all the ink lines just disappear? Well, Stabilo claims that 97.5% of their inks are water-based and that's easily proven here. See how the pigments easily spread when the lines are washed off with water? You can't even find any traces of the line I drew. So don't ever use these pens. Don't ever use Stabilo to sign important documents. The inks are not permanent. With Stedler, I like how the colors wash off and blend with the watercolor paint, yet some of the lines are retained. This matches what I need them for. Alright, that's it for this pen review. If you ask me which of these two are my favorites, I'd say that for the most part, their features are almost identical. In terms of variety of colors, hands down, Stedler wins because they have a larger palette. In terms of line thickness, they're almost the same, so it doesn't matter which brand you pick. In terms of bleed through and ghosting, Stedler is better for as long as you use the pens on paper that's thicker than Bible paper. In terms of handling, both are ergonomic and feel good on your hands, but I find that Stedler sits more comfortably on my fingers and grips better. Price-wise, the cost of Stabilo and Stedler pens are not too far from each other. Both have varied sizes of pen sets, so that flexibility will work with any budget you may have. Both pen tips are metal clad, so that's good. Although both pens boast of long drying time and can be left uncapped for extended periods, I've only proven that to be true with Stedler, but not Stabilo. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. This is again Ginger from Art That Place and Praise. Bye now.